Se liga só a oportunidade para você fazer parte do Grandão Team. Vou deixar o link aqui na descrição, vem fazer parte do meu time. Temos aí uma equipe completa para te dar todo o apoio, fazer toda a estrutura de dieta, de treino, em busca da sua evolução. Vem fazer parte do meu time.
Machine, or do you want to use dumbbells for side lateral? Uh, I prefer dumbbells because I feel there's more load on deltoids. Yeah, Would you stand on them? Okay, Monday the 18th of March, just under three weeks out from the Brazilian Arnold's taking place here in Sao Paulo, Brazil. Shoulder workout, rep range is gonna be like 14 to 18 reps for a number of different reasons. One, I find it's a perfect hybrid week where we can incorporate myofibia and sarcoplasmic, more so towards the sarcoplasmic hypertrophy but we will be bringing in large motor unit recruitment and bringing in some form of type 2B muscle fiber activation with that rep range. That's one reason, secondary injury prevention. And with this being three weeks out and half hours, fat levels already ready being pretty much towards uh, pre-contest fat percentage. Obviously you have to think about all those variables, but it's gonna be a great workout. Obviously volume, it's gonna be very much hybrid. Uh, so let's get on with this workout.
Okay, I know I've spoken about this before, obviously injury prevention. Very, very important that one of the most fundamental areas that you need to focus on before you work out is making sure that you warm up correctly. That doesn't mean that you pre-exhaust yourself, but it does mean that you prime your central nervous system progressively going heavier with each and every warm-up uh, set. I tend to decrease the repetitions. So what am I able to do? I'm able to upregulate muscle fiber activation, large motor unit recruitment, start getting my central nervous system accustomed to weight and load, blood flow, brain training, and also Slovian fluid taking place. So we're progressively gonna go up, work to our working weight, then we'll start pushing our sets. We'll potentially try to keep that weight as heavy as we can within that rep range, but we will potentially start reducing the weight slightly if we feel that we're not hitting that ideal target rep range. You're not always gonna be able to hit that perfect rep range, that's okay. They're still classed as working sets. Okay, so I have just done four warm-up sets, progressively going heavier, pulling my reps down with every warm-up. So obviously primed myself, and saving my strength uh, and my focus, my working sets. I'm gonna go in with my first working set now, as I said, 14 to 18 reps. We'll see where I am as far as the reps. If I feel I'd be able to do more, I'll stop and use it as a last priming warm-up. But I feel that the 18s will probably be all right for where that rep range is. I'm gonna incorporate rest pause. I do this in most of my exercises that I perform. Make sure that you watch, obviously, our form and techniques so you're able to extract that information and put it into your own fitness goals. Okay, so I fell short with the reps. Those 18s felt really heavy as soon as I picked them up. I could feel my central nervous system being upregulated. I think I did about 10 or 12 reps. So my next set, I'm gonna drop the weight down a little bit. One, because I didn't hit that target rep range. And two, I'm already pre-exhausted, so I'm gonna have to drop the weight.
aí, peruquinha. Beleza? Você viu as fibras do ovo dele tudo separando? Eu vi. Só ele tem isso na ovo.
O Neil prefere fazer naquela posição em vez de sentado, porque o ângulo de incidência fica um pouco mais alto, então ele sente mais o músculo. Por isso ele não senta. It's a light and everything, but looking very, 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 very hard. And like lots of fucking crazy lines. Yeah, it's looking harder again. Yeah. Fuck oh, yes, that did. Yeah. Are you sure that's good. Burn. But that's a very... You should really like that. Come on. Come on. 
Right. Come on. Five, four, three. Yes. Harder. Because it's throwing shadows. And I also feel like, yeah, throwing shadows. Galera, se vocês gostaram do vídeo, deixa o likezão, faz seu comentário. Hoje o treino foi praticamente mais simples e acho que vocês perceberam a qualidade que os ombros do, do Rafa tem. Ele fibra inteiro porque, graças a Deus, o Rafa é um atleta de verdade que ganha músculo treinando. Então, não tem nenhuma intervenção fora do comum na musculatura dele. Por isso que ela fibra inteiro. Apesar de que alguns atletas não têm essa qualidade, mas infelizmente aí os árbitros não estão dando valor nisso. Nós estamos vendo campeões que têm ombros lisos, né? que não fibram, que na minha opinião isso é um absurdo. Mas isso não sou eu que estou lá julgando, então eu não posso falar lá. Mas quem sabe um dia estarei lá julgando e vou falar isso com os outros árbitros. Porque na minha opinião um atleta tem que ter músculos de verdade. Ok? Gostou? Comenta, compartilha e se inscreve no canal. Outro dia eu olhei no canal uma coisa que eu vejo todo dia, estou no canal e eu estava desinscrito. O YouTube tem disso. Dá uma olhadinha. É, eu fui lá olhar e eu não estava inscrito no canal do Brandão. Falei, que porra é essa? Então, fica de olho, vê se você continua inscrito no canal. Se não, se inscreva novamente, por favor. E convide seus amigos para se inscreverem. Vamos bater a meta dos 400 mil até o Arnold Brasil? Tamo junto. Obrigado.